Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video and I've, that's the first time in about three months I've been able to say that I've not had a video up in so long just down to moving house and the stresses of it all and not having any internet for ages. So I'm finally here and thought I would show this little face back on my channel with a good old home bargain haul. So I did manage to pick up a few Christmassy bits too, so I'm going to show you those in here. Only a few little bits, but decorative bits. I'm really, really happy with the things that they've got in there. So I'll jump straight in and show you what I've picked up. First of all, I picked up a pack of cotton pads. Um, these are just obviously for nails, face, but also I do use these in my Hoover. Um, I pop a little bit of Zaflora on a cotton pad and pop it into the Hoover like the empty bit that all the dust goes in um, and it gives off the lovelier scent. So I've done that for ages, didn't have any, needed to pick some up. I think these were 59p. I'm trying to remember all these prices. I have got the receipt in front of me and I don't want to keep stopping and rummaging through that. So I've tried to do it in price order as best I can. So next up I picked up these. It's just a four pack of handy little wipes. These are so easy to just throw in my bag. Um, saves having to take a big pack of baby wipes out when I go with the kids just for hands and faces and little bits like that so these were 69p next I picked up these these are just the cutest things ever they are just little face sheet masks and they're in the shapes of well in these little prints there's a leopard one an alpaca one another leopard one and a fox um, they looked really cute. They look like they're going to be a lovely little um, thing to do, like a little pamper night in. Um, I'll have to check and see if there's nothing too harsh in there because I think Elise would love doing this. It does say um, for all skin types and they seem to have a lot of really good things in there. Cucumber extracts and stuff like that. So it, I think they're going to be quite kind to the skin. And it's just a sheet mask, so they're not going to be too harsh. So I think Elise would love to do this as a little pamper night in. Also, what I thought was I could pick some of these up and just pop them in presents, uh, like Christmas presents for people, because I thought it's just a nice little touch. So yeah, who doesn't love a face mask? So next, I picked up these two little lunch boxes for the kids. They're just the little squares. This is a little dinosaur one and it says Rawsome and a little unicorn one, which says Believe on there. These were 69p as well. Um, they seem to have like the lids seem really good. I don't like ones where the lids are they don't fit very well or they don't fasten too tight. Um, these seem absolutely brilliant. So I thought I'd just get these if I'm having a little day out, I can just fill it with their little lunch um, bits and bobs, snacks, things like that, and pop them into their little backpacks. Then I picked up some nail polish remover just because I needed some. Um, I don't think this is acetone free, which I do usually go for. So it was just an emergency because I didn't have any and I grabbed it not even checking properly. But what I do like about these ones is that they're the lids that you, you've got this little thing on. So I don't know if you've probably seen these before, but you just get your cotton pad, pop it on and pump it. And then it'll go onto your cotton pad. It just saves pouring out and just using too much if you don't need to. So again, really, really good and hopefully not too harsh on the nails but 99p for that as well so this i don't think it's going to focus very well but is a little perfume um i've run out of perfume and oh sorry i've got numb feet um yeah i've run out of all my perfumes i go through perfumes so quickly and i've got a feeling that santa might bring me some so i didn't want to go and spend a lot of money on another perfume for myself if santa does bring me some so I picked up one of these little ones from Home Bargains. They're only $1.99. Um, this is the Sweet Delight one, but it just smells so nice. It, it, it is really, really nice. It does. It smells quite sweet, but not too sweet. So they would make, again, lovely little stocking fillers for people. They're only $1.99. It's just a little perfume to throw in your bag. Just, I would use this as like an alternative to a body spray or something like that. I do apologise, by the way, if the lighting is a little bit off. Um, I haven't quite figured out the lighting in this house yet and I'm filming this at night time so my lighting is a little bit all over the place but hopefully I will get that sussed very very quickly. Anyway the next thing I picked up was this it's one of the Febreze um, 3 Volution refills. This one was one of the limited edition and it is spiced apple. Nice and Christmassy I love the spice apple and cranberry scented 
air fresheners and plugins at Christmas time. I mean, who doesn't? They are just Christmas. And you just want to fill your room with that scent. So these are really, really good. I really love these. And this was $2.99. So before I show you the Christmassy bits that I picked up, let me show you this. This basket, which is full of all doggy treats. Um, this is actually... It was an IDF by my auntie who wanted to put together some lovely little gift baskets for a local dog shelter for Christmas, um, just so all doggies get something for Christmas and they don't go without. So yeah, she came up with the idea and me and my mum thought we would just make our own little gift baskets and send them along with her. So first of all, the storage basket, which is huge by the way, there's such good storage baskets. And I think this one was, let me look, see, £1.59. So I'm not 100% sure on all the prices of these, um, but they, they weren't much. They only cost a pound, like most of them were just a pound. This one is the first one I picked up. It was a box of these little cranberry and turkey flavoured dog biscuits. Um, I think, yeah, these were 99p and it's a decent sized box as well. Then I picked up these ones. These are the Pedigree Milky Biscuits, just for any doggies that have trouble chewing. Um, Daisy's just walked in now and she thinks she's in heaven. She must think these are off of her. Anywho, I also picked up this big bag of dental chews. These are turkey flavoured. There's loads in there and I think they were £1.69. Then I picked up two packs of the little rodeo chews. I do get these for Daisy, she loves them. Got chicken and beef. They've got eight chews in there and they were 99p each. I picked up some tennis balls. What dog doesn't love a good tennis ball to chase around? So there's four in here and they were 99p. Just found these ones at the bottom as well. These are the Misfits. I love getting these for Daisy, she absolutely loves them. They're the Nasher Sticks. These are chicken and bacon, bacon flavoured and they again were 99p. And finally, I picked up two of these toys. These are the Rope um, Tug Toys. Really, really hard, durable toys to play with. Unless they are like Daisy and will destroy them in minutes. If not, they're a good toy for them to play with. And I think these were something like 89p each. And here is Daisy having a little nosy at all the bits that I got. Say hi, do. <laughs> Oi, they're not for you. She's on guard of the box now. And then finally, all the Christmassy bits that I picked up. So first of all, I got this table runner. Um, it is just a nice grey one and it's got little reindeers all over. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's got little reindeers all over, but they're glittery. And I'm hoping this is long enough for the table, even though our table is only a small uh, wooden table. Hopefully it'll fit. And this was 2 99 Then I picked up this. It's just a little plaque that says sparkle. Um, I thought the letters were all individual, but they're not. They're stuck together. But this will look really cute. Just sat on one of the sides or on the window ledge or somewhere. I'll find somewhere for it to go. But yeah, I thought for 99p, it was really cute. Then I picked up these baubles. So you can't see these very well, I don't think, through the thing. But... They're four plastic baubles, they're see-through, and then they're filled with little white feathers. I just thought they were so cute. I really, really like them. Um, I've got quite a, like, a few little bits that have got feathers on on the tree. Not too much, but a few little bits, so they'll look really nice with those. And I think they were $1.99 for the four. Then I picked up this tree decoration. It's a little stag head, and again, it's got like the like, little white fairy feathery stuff on the bottom this was 79p and I thought it was really lovely it's not too heavy which is good because I found I've spent more on more expensive um, tree decorations in the past but they're really heavy and they pull the branches down where these look just as nice and they're really really light so that was good it's like they're like made out of like the foamy plasticky stuff but they look really, really nice. Then I picked up this one, which I just thought was the cutest. I mean, it's just so pretty, this gorgeous little swan. This is made of like something slightly harder, um, maybe like a hard plastic. It's a little bit heavier, but not too heavy. And it's got white glitter all over it. And then like this pale essence glitter on its wings. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. And it was only 99p. They do have some really, really lovely tree decorations in there. 
um, and just general Christmas decorations. They've got gorgeous stuff. So definitely, definitely worth going and checking home bargains out. And then finally, I picked up two bags of these. So it says on there snowflakes. I thought um, it's like little bits of white plastic and I thought it would look really nice in um, like a vase or a fishbowl um, type vase filled at the bottom with like some little candles and lights and stuff in there. I'm not too sure yet what I'm going to do with them, but I've got an idea for either my window ledge or the centre of my table. So watch this space. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do follow me over there. The link is in the description down below. And I probably will be taking pictures of all the little bits of decorations once they're all up, as I do every year because I'm Christmas obsessed. So I'll show you what I did with these. And that is everything that I got from this little haul from Home Bargains. I do apologise, it's been quite some time since I had my last video up. Um, but as you can probably all appreciate and understand, we've had quite a stressful couple of months. But now I am back and back into the swing of things. Let me know where you would like to see me do a haul next. I'm thinking it's got to be a Powerland haul with loads of Christmassy bits and stuff like that. And possibly a B&M, but do let me know what you would like to see. I'm going to go now because my feet are completely numb as I've been sitting on them for about half an hour. Can't feel them and Daisy is sitting guarding that box. So I think she's ready to pounce. So before we drives are absolutely insane, I'm going to go and say goodbye. Please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up because that always helps. Um, leave me a comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon.